be doing a very, very real get ready with me. This is actually how I get ready on a daily basis. It's not all fun and games and professional and super cute like how I show when I do my makeup tutorials. But today I wanted to show you guys more of the realistic type get ready with me. This is my no doubt top. I absolutely love her. She was like the very first artist that I ever listened to. Most of the stuff is going to be by Ellie Girl, but this was not sponsored by them. I literally just have so much new makeup by them that I want to try. So as you can see, I am breaking out right here and right here, and it's because of some products that I have been using. I've been using a ton of new products since that is my job. I always start off by washing my face and putting moisturizer on it, so I already did all that. And I'm now going to be using my LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil, which is my favorite. Favorite. I love this stuff so much. We got a brown down sis. I never used to have to get this close while doing my makeup and I always do it like super boxy and then I blend it out so you guys will see that. This is exactly why I do my eyebrows off camera all the time because it takes like some time. I feel like my teeth are looking a little bit not bright so I'm gonna be putting on a whitening strip. I'm putting on these whitening strips. I know you guys are gonna ask. These are by Rite Aid. They used to have way better ones that I used to always use all the time but it's so weird because whenever I put on whitening strips I get so thirsty. So I'm gonna have a list of during this video but got our brows cleaned up so I think that calls for a severe Moody Rock, believe me guys, this video is not sponsored, but I genuinely love their products because they're super cheap but great quality and I also do have a discount code for you guys. It will be right here and down below. It is just either 10, you guys will get 10% off. So today we're going to be doing a very colorful look, so it's going to be very exciting because I feel like I haven't been doing very many colorful looks. So I'm going to be taking this palette here, but I do kind of want to take some shadow shields because I have never used these before. So there's this song by Kali Uchi that is stuck in my head and I'm like, get out of my head. Guys, if you hear construction going on, I'm so sorry. There's people doing construction in our house. So first impression, these were quite a little bit hard to work with. Isn't it crazy how like every single YouTuber has a professional setup now? And you never see videos like this anymore. Like the blue is standing out to me and also the like purpley fuchsia pink is standing out to me. This color right here is just saying use me. But I already did a look that was pink where I do like blue in the crease and then I do like a fuchsia pop on the eye. But that might be a little crazy. We're starting off with this pretty blue here. This is like an ocean blue. A little story for you guys. Yesterday I went to like my very first audition. Um, it actually wasn't my first audition, but it was like my part two of an audition that I did. Oh my gosh, do you see this? It's super pigmented. I was literally shaking, like shaking, like trembling like this. Like I knew that I could do it, but it was just the fact that I was like, man, like this can, this can go like so many different ways. And I have anxiety and I kind of want to make a video about anxiety because I feel like that's a topic that people don't really like to touch on because it is a touchy subject. It just needs to be talked about. So I kind of want to do like an anxiety Q&A advice video. So let me know if you guys would like that because I feel like it would just help a lot of people. I didn't know if the audition was going to go good or if it was going to go bad. And like I know I was trying not to think like negative or anything. But you know, you always have those thoughts whenever you're about to do something that you've never really done before. I love acting. It's a new love that I found, a new passion that I found. Last year around this time was when I found the love for acting. Um, my manager at the time was asking me, oh, and there's like this company that wants you to go and act for them. And I was like, oh my gosh, because I wanted to do that since I was like a little girl, but I was always just way too shy. If not, if I wouldn't have started doing YouTube, I probably would have still been in my shell, not really talking to anybody. It's just insane because of all the opportunities that I got to do, but I went to this acting opportunity, but I was literally like on the verge of telling my manager like, you know what, never mind, like I don't think I can do it because the lines got sent to me and I was like, whoa, like I've never done anything scripted like this before. So I'm also going to be taking a white here just to put it on my brow bone because it's getting a little intense. And then after I have it cut and I have shadow on it, I'm going to further like kind of cut and outline the outer edge with this cobalt blue here. But I've learned that I need to be outside of doing things outside of my comfort zone because if you don't, you're always going to be comfortable doing things that you haven't done before and things that you would think that you would never do because it's, you're just like scared of it, like scared of failure. 
don't think that way when i went to do the actual acting yes i was like dripping in sweat like i just didn't know what to expect it was my very first time acting i did it and it was just really great because the people that i was working with they were super nice they absolutely told me you're natural you're doing amazing but after that first time that i did that show i did a few more shows with that company and i found my love i was like oh my god i love this this is amazing i just want to do more and more and more so that was a very deep talk but after all of that blending now you guys can see how much blending it takes until you're actually ready to move on i'm going to be using some eyeliner this is the la girl fine line this one's in black and i haven't really been doing too much liner so i'm glad to be using this again and i feel like this is causing premature wrinkles oh okay, so that's how it came out pretty crisp but, but i still need to like clean it up because i feel like okay so i finally got the liner down now i'm going to be taking this la girl flash big and bold mascara but i also just chopped up my lashes okay i'm acting like this is a freaking stir fry but i chopped up my lashes i cut them up and i so just applying some nice amounts of mascara right up by the way these are by everlasting lashes i'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation and then we're gonna be going back into the eyes because we need to get some down here no surprise i'll be using my la girl pro coverage this one's the um more dewy one they do have a new one that's a matte version but i'm gonna be using the dewy one today okay let's put on some tunes guys because i am dying to listen to some tunes so best powder that you guys will ever ever find so this is the la girl pro powder in the shade banana it's amazing doesn't give you any flashback which is very important it's springtime it's getting hot we do not want to crease we do not want to melt bro like i understand we're a snack but we ain't no ice cream we're not trying to freaking melt out here so for bronzer i'm going to be taking their face powder this is the la girl pro face powder this one's in the shade classic tan If I don't add blush, I just don't look complete. So we're going to be doing the under eyes just so it doesn't look all weird for the inner rim of my eyes. This is the Perfect Precision Eyeliner. This is in the shade Cobalt. Oh, I got it right, but I was just going off of the colors. So now we're going to be taking a new liquid illuminator. This is the LA Girl Luminous Glow Skin Illuminator in the shade Afterglow. This one's the middle shade. And then they also came out with another illuminator in powder form. So it's this one here. This one's the LA Girl Luminous Glow. And I'm going to be using like this yellow white one in the shade 24 carats. Oh girl, oh, one of the very last steps. We have two more steps to go. So they also gave me a whole bunch of new precision aligners for the lips. See this one. So I'm going to be taking this one here, which is in the shade I Bear. All right, guys, so this is the final look for the look that I did today. So this is a very fun and colorful mermaid-esque type of vibe with a taupey lip. And then I just did kind of like a subtle to medium highlight. And I just think that it goes so well for like the spring season. Season. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up so I can keep on doing these videos. And also, I do have my discount code with LA Girl for 10% off down below, which is just IVET10. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!